Uh, today what I'm going to be talking about is 18th century hunting methods. And behind me here you see one of them which was mentioned in Philip Tome's book, Pioneer Life or 30 Years a Hunter. And what it is, is basically a wooden tree stand called a scaffold or a scaffold stand. And Philip Tome writes about it in his book, which basically goes over his early years of hunting in western Pennsylvania and some parts of southwestern New York. And he hunted for elk, deer, bear, and also trapped for fur bearers like fox. And it happened all he writes about it all within the time period of late of the late 18th century to the early 19th century. And it's a really cool book because it's someone who actually lived at that time period and hunted in the woods. He was a general, just a, um, a real woods runner. And it's a really great book if you're interested in 18th century uh, hunting. So this is one uh, hunting method that he mentioned in his book. And I'll turn around the camera and we'll get a really good look at it and I'll explain more about it. Okay, so here's a view of the tree stand from the front. And basically there was two ways that Philip Tome talked about in building this tree stand. Um, the first of which is probably the simplest, and that is finding a tree where you want to hunt that you can build this actual scaffold in. You know, finding, just like a tree house, you find branches up there that you can lay your platform across on. And that was the first way, just building the platform like a tree house up in a tree, just building your platform up there. And that's very easy, like the, basically the easiest way. The second he talked about is if you can't find a suitable tree uh, where you want to hunt, you can place four Y sticks in the earth and then lay poles across to tie them together and then lay more wooden poles across to make your platform. And as you see, that's kind of what I've done here. See the Y sticks and then the poles running back and forth to make my platform. Um, and that, that way it takes a lot more work um, and much more time than just building it up across um, on branches up in a tree, like a tree house. But those were the two ways that he described in making it. Now when you're finished making your platform, he said that he would take either some bushes or bark and put them across uh, to make basically a blind that he could conceal himself from the deer. And you see here I've taken some uh, locust bark and put it back and forth to make a blind up there to hide myself from the deer. But if you're up that high anyway, they don't really see you all that much. But um, he doesn't say how big to make the platform or how high. This one's about almost 15 feet, 10, 15 feet tall. And he said that he would make a ladder and draw it up after him. I didn't really see any uh, purpose in drawing up the ladder after me, though I do have enough room up there to lay it across. But we'll go and take a closer look at the tree stand, you see that I've kind of mixed the two together um, to my situation that I have here. I have a tree right here that I wanted to build my tree stand up against because it's in the perfect spot. It looks right out over this little field right here where the deer are coming out. Um, so what I've done is I've taken two Y sticks for the front of my platform, but I've attached the back of it to the tree instead and that's just done with um, a log with spikes pounded through it and into the tree and obviously he doesn't mention that doing it that way in his book but that's what I had to do for this my personal situation where I did have a tree that I wanted to put my platform in but I just didn't have you know the branches to put it on or anything it's just a straight tree so I kind of personalized it to this situation, but it works just the same and um, it's completely built out of wood from out here. You know, there's no cut lumber or anything. This is all from trees out here that I cut. Um, so let's go up the ladder. I'll give you a view from up there. So 
here's the platform up here. You see I have my bark screen here. Uh, you can also, you know, just use brush and stuff. So you see, we're it's a good height up here. Uh, I wouldn't really want to go any higher than this. I just wouldn't trust it as much. Once you start getting up higher, you know, it's going to get less stable. I have a little log right here just to sit on. Uh, you see my view. I have bark, bark screens uh, all the way around me, except for the opening of the ladder. And this is a good little tree stand. The deer definitely cannot see you up here. Um, so this is what the tree stand looks from up here. Okay, so there you have it. That's the 18th century uh, scaffold stand mentioned in Philip Tone's book. I just want to do this quick video uh, to show you, um, th those of you who may do 18th century hunting, um, it's a great uh, alternative to a modern tree stand. You know, if you if you want to do the period hunt with the period gun and the clothes and everything, and you don't really want to hunt in a modern stand, this is a great thing. Uh, use because it is a tree stand but it is period correct. It's completely made of wood and how they would have done it. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this short video. I'll see you in the next one.